hello everyone welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we will see about liquid programming that we can use for portal use in portals to display some dynamic content in my previous series of dynamics 365 portals and power portals you have seen many things like uh, how to work with a web template how to work with a, a web page page templates and uh, 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 and customizing the forms and all that but today we will see some somewhat more coding uh, in portals so if you uh, know in portals power portals we have two ways that we can add codes uh, one is called as liquid programming and the second one is javascript or jquery right so we can also write jquery and javascript which are client-side programming and uh, liquid uh, tags and liquid codes we can use to communicate server uh, server side cds data okay so uh, so uh, today we will discuss about uh, liquid programming uh, as an introduction video so uh, let's see how how it works let's see so i have a uh, portal page here the portal page is the home page and i have used a web template called as uh, login user information web template and here in the source code i have given some uh, coding here uh, you can see here the coding is i have taken a division and i have given a style padding 100 and i have taken also a h1 header tag html tag and written something welcome welcome to our portal and uh, in a paragraph i have written this is a static content once i have created and i have saved it i used it in a page i have a uh, home page and here i have used this template i have created and uh, once i have created when i render this page it is displaying me welcome to our portal and the uh, paragraph is this is static content now the point is till now i have used only static content because uh, inside a division and uh, i have just taken h1 and uh, p and these are all static content now if i want to display some static uh, i want to display some dynamic content for example i want to display user information or page information dynamically then we can use liquid programming right so before going to more about liquid programming let us start something to uh, show you something here let's say i want to display uh, page title instead of uh, below this paragraph okay so i will just go to here and i will type down here a, i will give a breakpoint and i will type down a paragraph and inside that paragraph i want to display the page title of the portal uh, in a paragraph so i will start the coding here so the liquid tag to display some information will be inside the two double curly brushes opening and closing tag then inside that i will use the liquid object called as page and inside that i will use title so page dot title okay now once i have used this tag uh, code in this uh, liquid tag i will test this so let, let me save this and i will go here and click on sync configuration Now once I will see in configuration then I will browse the website because I want to see if it is displaying or not click on browse website now it is trying to load in the page now I am expecting the code should be written here see the uh, home page uh, the title of this page is home that's why it is displaying as home so this is how we can use uh, liquid codes to display dynamic content so we have many objects that are available in liquid program programming in dynamics so to be honest uh, if i will give you the introduction of liquid liquid is a programming that is introduced by shopify company shopify is a you know uh, uh, online uh, commerce site who has introduced this liquid programming you can go through the style and syntax of this coding so to display something you uh, we have to use double curly braces and inside that we have to use this code and uh, the tags are used uh, used using this uh, curly brace and percentage symbol and to close uh, we have to use percentage and uh, closing curly brace 
and uh, so to display some uh, information we have to use double curly braces and to do some condition or to uh, write some code to check something or uh, any control flow we want to write then we have to use this uh, curly brace curly brace and uh, curly brace bracket and uh, then uh, the percentage symbol so this is the two syntax okay that we can use okay now we can also use javascript and jquery we will discuss on more details but let's see some more uh, coding in uh, liquid i want to write something here uh, my next requirement is let's say uh, i want to display the uh, login user information here below the page i'll write down something welcome um, login user let's say um, if, if the login user is sanjay then it should display here welcome sanjay like that so how to do that i will go here and write down something i will again give a breakpoint because i want to display in another line so i'll write down a code block in uh, liquid because the code block starts with a curly brush and with a percentage so instead that i can write down some conditions this lineup statement do not print anything or do not display anything because to display something we have to use this double curly brush but when you use this one curly brush and percentage that is required for control flow or logic so i am writing a if condition let's say if user so user is an object liquid object that is part of portal to identify the login user okay i will show you what are the objects available uh, for liquid uh, programming so if user if user exist or logged in then i want to display something here welcome and i want to display something so i'll write down here user dot first name okay and else i want to add else condition so as this else condition is a control flow that's why this will be inside this tag curly brush and percentage not double curly brush because this is used to display something so here i will write down else i want to display something welcome guest so i do not have any uh, object here user object i don't find any user object so i will just display welcome guest then i will end the uh, if condition so and if now this is the block that will display a text a sentence called as welcome username first name if you have not logged in it will display welcome guest so let us see how it works so this is a condition so uh, this tag percentage and uh, brass uh, curly brass is used for uh, using conditions and this double curly brass is used for displaying data okay so let's see i will just click on save and i will sync configuration now once i will sync configuration it will clear the cache memory then i will click on browse website now as i have not logged in it will display welcome guest can you see that welcome guest now i will log in here let me log in using my azure credential that i am using for dynamics 365 login so once i will log in it will display welcome sanjay because my first name is sanjay and i have logged in and the look liquid code find out that i have uh, logged in that's why it will display welcome sanjay prakash can you see that this is displaying now now the liquid code is working fine for me now we have to remember so we have many objects i have i have displayed you page object i have displayed you a user object so there are many objects that are available to interact with cds uh, entity informations also if you go here in microsoft site you can find all uh, informations like page objects so these are all the objects i have used page object and i have used user object 
okay so uh, you can go one by one and check how it works you can also uh, interact with an entity records using entities object okay and there are also some uh, filters that we can use in liquids we have some operators to check so many things are there so this is the introduction video so i will keep it simple so thank you guys i hope you understand how liquid code works i will come with more in-depth uh, uh, tutorials for uh, liquids in next video thank you